Hello, my name is Kim and I work for Somerset Libraries, which is great because I love books, I love reading books, and most of all, I like sharing books. And the book I'm going to share with you today is written by David Henry Wilson. It's called Elephants Don't Sit on Cars, Adventures with Jeremy James. The Elephant on Daddy's Car. Mummy, said Jeremy James, there's an elephant sitting on Daddy's car. Yes, dear, said Mummy, eyes fixed on hands, fixed on dough, fixed on table. Mummy, why is there an elephant sitting on Daddy's car? I expect it's tired, dear. It'll probably get up and go away soon. Well, it hasn't, said Jeremy James two minutes later. It hasn't got up. The car's gone down, but the elephant hasn't got up. Mummy, do you think I ought to tell Daddy? No, no, leave your father, said Mummy. You know he hates being interrupted when he's working. Daddy's watching football match on television. If Daddy says he's working, he's working. Well, there's an elephant sitting on his car, said Jeremy James. Mummy thumbed sultanas into the dough to make eyes and noses. And the car doesn't look very happy about it, said Jeremy James. Jeremy James, said Mummy, elephants don't sit on cars. Well, this one does. Elephants don't sit on cars. If Mummy says elephants don't sit on cars, dear, then elephants don't sit on cars. But they don't. Finish. Now play with your train set. Jeremy James sat on the carpet and played with his train set and thought about the elephant on Daddy's car and thought about how stubborn mummies can be when they want to be and how if he was a mummy and his son said there was an elephant on Daddy's car, he would say, what a clever boy and thank you for telling me and here's some money for an ice cream instead of just elephants don't sit on cars. Goal, said the television in the sitting room. Goal, said Daddy hard at work. And the elephant was still sitting on Daddy's car. Mummy, said Jeremy James, for the latest development could not be ignored. Mummy, the elephant has just done its number two all over Daddy's car. But Mummy's face merely twitched like a fly flicking elephant's ear. And she said nothing. Gosh! And what a number two! Mummy, you should see the elephant's number two! Mummy, why do elephants do such big number twos? I can't do a number two like that. Mine isn't even a thousandth as big as that. What a number two! Jeremy James, if you go on talking like this, I shall send you straight to bed. Now play with your train set and let's have no more elephant talk and certainly no more about number two. Do you hear? Yes, Mummy. No number two. Anyone would think that number twos were unhealthy. Only look what happened when you didn't do a number two. Then it was, Jeremy James, have you done your number two? You haven't done a number two? Then sit there until you have. Now, tell them an elephant's done his number two on Daddy's car, and suddenly it's rude. Why can't grown-ups make up their minds? Jeremy James played with his train set. Jeremy James looked out of the window. The elephant was gone. Mummy, said Jeremy James. What is it now? said Mummy, half in and half out of the oven. The elephant's gone. <laughs> That was a typical grown-up word. <laughs> it was for grown-ups only and meant whatever they wanted it to mean. Jeremy James had tried to use <laughs> once himself. Mummy had said, have you done your number two? At one of those times when number two wasn't rude. 
And he'd replied, Humph! Because that was how grown-ups got out of awkward questions like, Will you buy me something nice today? Or, Why can't I have a toy racing car like Timothy's? Only Jeremy James obviously didn't know how to use it, because Mummy told him to speak properly, even though he'd said, Hmph! Perfectly properly. Daddy came out of the sitting room, with his face as long as an elephant's nose. They lost, said Daddy, right at the end, an own goal. And then Daddy leaned on the kitchen doorpost, as he always did when he'd been working, and sometimes when he was working, and watched Mummy working, presumably to make sure she was doing everything right. Jeremy James had tried leaning on the doorpost once and saying, as Daddy always ended up saying, Will it be long, dear? But instead of getting Mummy's normal, hmm, he'd had a, Now don't you start! And he'd been sent off to play with his train set, which he was sick of anyway. Will it be long, dear? said Daddy. Hmm, said Mummy. Now don't you start, said Jeremy James quietly. An own goal, said Daddy, right at the end. Was that goal number two, asked Jeremy James. I don't know what got into that child, said Mummy. Daddy elbowed himself upright off the doorpost, took one hand out of his pocket. Take your hands out of your pocket, Jeremy James. He yawned and announced, Maybe I'll go and clean the car. Mummy didn't say there won't be time before tea. Although, Daddy waited quite a while for her to say it. And so Daddy eventually left the kitchen, crossed the dining room, entered the hall, opened the front door and went out of the house. Daddy, Jeremy James, stood at the window and wondered what new words Daddy would use. Daddy didn't use any words. Daddy's mouth fell open and then Daddy came back into the house, opened the front door, entered the hall, crossed the dining room and held himself up by the kitchen doorpost. Car, said Daddy, his mouth open and shut several times, as if he'd just been pulled out of the water. A car, he said again. What's the matter with it? asked Mummy, spreading hand cream over the bread. It's been ruined. It's, it's ruined. It looks as if it's been completely squashed, completely and utterly squashed. Oh, John, said Mummy, who only called Daddy John when she was very upset. Oh, John, there isn't, um, sort of, um, dung all over it as well, is there? Yes! said Daddy. There jolly well is. I've never seen anything like it either. There must have been a herd of cows dancing on the thing. Wasn't a herd of cows, said Jeremy James. It was an elephant. And I saw it, and I told Mummy, but she wouldn't listen. An elephant, said Daddy. You saw an elephant? On the car? Yes, said Jeremy James. And I saw it do its number two as well. Then why the... Didn't one of you tell me? Hmm, said Mummy. Jeremy James played with his train set. And that was chapter one from Elephants Don't Sit on Cars by David Henry Wilson and published 
by Macmillan. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Got the addresses here. And I hope to see you once again with another story. Bye-bye.